Hi, my name is Bill Raymond, and in this e-learning best practices video, I'm going to show you how you can publish your corporate training videos if you have Office 365 with the videos application available. Since I'm going to be showing you how to use Office 365 to upload your video, it probably goes without saying, but I'll state it anyway. Usually videos or anything you upload to Office 365 are specific to your company. They're not shared outside of your organization. There are certainly ways to do that. However, I'm going to assume that your video is an internal corporate training video. Now, before you can go and upload that video to Office 365, you need to produce the video. You can see here I'm inside of Camtasia. This is a popular training product that records my screen. You can see I have a number of videos that I created and I stitch them all together to form one video. I need to output this video to a format that Office 365 will understand. The most common format is called MP4. Depending on what version of, Share of Camtasia you're using, you might be exporting via the File menu or the Share menu. Here, I'm going to choose the Share menu, and I'll choose Local File. And what I'll do is choose an MP4 file and then export it. Now you can see I already exported it here, but what I'd do is I'd press that export button and it would process for a little bit. And then I'd have a file that I can share with others. The Camtasia file itself cannot be uploaded to Office 365. So you need to go through that intermediate step of creating an MP4 file first. Now that our videos are saved, we can upload them to Office 365. Now there's a number of ways we can do this. We can certainly put these files on what's called OneDrive, but really those are files that are for you. You can share those files with other people in your organization, but really it's just a way to share a file kind of like Dropbox or Box.com. Another way to do this is to create a SharePoint site with all of the videos. However, SharePoint doesn't really have what's called a video streaming service, meaning when you click on the video, it's going to kind of want you to download it to your computer to watch it. There's another way that you can do this when, with Office 365 if you have this capability. Uh, and when I say that, there's certain versions of Office 365 that may not have the video feature. Come up here to the top left-hand corner where this waffle is and click on that. And you'll see a number of different applications that you can run. We're going to choose video. My videos page looks pretty bare, but that's just because I'm not using this as a corporate training portal. What I'm going to do is go to channels. In channels, you can create different areas that people can visit. Now you want to try and be as specific as possible and not too generic because you don't want to just create a channel called training because you could create hundreds of videos in here for different applications and there's no such thing as a subfolder structure. So you want to do is create a channel that's specific to what you are teaching. I'll go ahead and choose new channel and I'm going to call this Techgenics Training Tutorials. I can even pick a color and then go ahead and click Create. Great, now that the site is created, we're going to upload our videos. And I'll click Select. and choose my MP4 files. Each one of the files will upload, but during that time you can go ahead and modify the titles for them. I'm going to go ahead and do that. With your videos uploaded, you'll notice that there is a message at the top of the screen. It says it will take some time to process the videos and you'll receive an email. So just because your videos are uploaded, does not necessarily mean that they're ready to be viewed. 
If we take a look at how I named these videos, you'll see the titles have short names, short titles. And I do that because the preview for the video is going to be a lot like YouTube. So it's going to be a limited amount of space for the title. So the formal title for this first one, for example, is e-learning best practices colon the desktop. I shrunk it down to e-learning the desktop. This way it will be visible by the users. Also in the description area, I went ahead and just typed a description. You can be as descriptive as you want because at that point the user is going to click on the video and they'll see the full description there. I clicked on the channels tab at the top of the page. You can see we have our new training tutorials area, so I'll click on that. Now let's talk a little bit about this page. What you can see are three videos that have been uploaded. Now I actually uploaded more than three videos. They're not displaying because these are the trending videos. Now at first what's going to happen is Office 365 is going to take a guess at what the trending videos are. Over time, as people access the videos and interact with them, the trending videos are going to be the most popular videos. Of course, if we click all videos, then we'll see all the videos that were uploaded. And if I click my videos, these are the videos that I uploaded. Of course, my videos and all videos match because I uploaded all videos. I've been clicking around on these videos, so I have a new video that showed up on the screen, and now you can see there's four videos instead of three in the trending area. Let's go ahead and click on one video. This video may not play right away because it's still being processed, but if we come down here to the bottom, you can see that there's a few options for the user. They can read the title and the description. They can also download the video embed the video in their own website. Remember, this is probably only going to be accessible to people inside your organization. And then they can also click the email button. This is a really nice feature because since you created the video, someone might want to ask you a question. Rather than try and hunt down your name, they can just click the email link and send you an email right away. So that's basically what you need to do to upload your videos to Office 365 Video. Now here's a challenge with this product. It's very much like YouTube. So a lot of these training programs that I created are in a specific order. Now, over time, how people access these videos will determine the order in which they get displayed. Notice that there's no sort by name, sort by number or anything like that. This is just a list of videos. So in another tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a web page in SharePoint that allows you to link to these videos that do display the videos in order. Thank you for watching this video. We would really appreciate it if you press the like button. If you have any comments, please feel free to use the comment section.